to kiss you. Yeah, probably. Sure, why not? Um, you know, heat of the moment stuff. I mean, sometimes when I'm jerking off, I sit there, and I'm like, after I jerk off, I'm going to drink my cum. Because I get really, you know, you, you know, you get horny. I mean, well, you probably don't know because I'm a freak. So, but I'm sitting there and I, th I think about that. And then as soon as I come, I look at it. I'm like, ew. Let's just wipe that off. <laughs> you know, you get these ideas in your head when you're all horny and shit. And then like, as soon as you're released, it's like, oh my god, what the fuck was I thinking? Ugh. Um. Do 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 do. If you could elect one person to be president or ruler of the world besides yourself, who would it be and why? Um, Joe Pesci. Mango chutney or jalapeno jelly? Uh, neither. Puce or hospital wall puke green? I'll go with hospital wall puke green. What's so great about your garage that we see it in so many of your videos? It's not actually my garage, it's actually the seventh circle of hell. So it's, it's where I live. Um, no, that's not. I don't live in the garage, but I live in the seventh circle of hell. So just to clarify that. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You're retarded. Um, hmm. Do you work? And if not, why not? Uh, I do work. I do work all day. I was working all day on a website today. Um, not my own. My own website is totally neglected. It's www.tarosia.com. A lot of people say it's a hidden website. Um, it's not hidden. The entrance is right there in the front. You just have to be smart enough to actually figure it out. And the clue is pretty fucking blatantly obvious, and smart people tend to get in just fine. But stupid people... Yeah. They, they tend to be like, Why is it just this one page? Um... <laughs> what books are you currently reading? Do you make book list? I am currently reading this book. This is Ever Free by Nick Sagan, who is the son of Carl Sagan. That is not a nonfiction book, that is a novel. I like novels, and it is the third part of a trilogy that starts with a book called Idle Wild. And the middle book is called um, Edenborn, and a uh, really good trilogy of books. Um, the main character is kind of a uh, cynical, misanthropic guy who's who cares very deeply about the people he does actually care about, and he's thrust into some very extraordinary circumstances regarding... Um, uh, viruses that have wiped out the majority of humanity, Matrix-esque kind of stuff as well thrown in there, and uh, a lot of virtual simulations and and a lot of commentary on, on the destructible nature of humanity. It's, it's a lot of shit, but it's really good. Um, do, 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 do. And, oh, and I do make book lists. Um... Did you, anyone ever tell you you look like Mike Stivick? Hey, at least he was an atheist, too. Mike Stivick. Trying to remember who that is. If I ever knew to begin with. I don't think I do. Sorry. Is that from All in the Family? Is that the character from All in the Family? The one that was portrayed by Rob Reiner? Was it? I don't think so. Maybe it was. I don't know. Um... Heard a mortal technique in one of your videos, so who are some of the other rappers you listen to, if there are any? Um, I listen to early Eminem, but I don't really like his new stuff. It seems like he's really kind of um, running on empty at this point. Uh, I like Tupac Shakur. Um, I like DZK. And uh, <laughs> I like the Insane Clown Posse. Um very intellectual band. <laughs> um, mm, yeah, I like a bunch of white and Mexican guys. 
Oh, I think the only actual black rapper I like is Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Oh, and Bizarre from D12. Has he put out a solo album yet? I'd buy it. Do -do 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 -do. God damn, you guys ask boring, stupid fucking questions. Are you an absurdist? What the fuck is that? Yes, no, maybe. Fuck you. Um, will you petition the universe again? Dear universe, please send me better questions. Um, ever said LOL in real life before? LOL! Um, no, I don't believe so. Not in seriousness, anyway. Then again, who says LOL in seriousness, anyway? But I know some people, LOL is like every other fucking word out of their mouth. Well, not out of their mouth, but out of their fingers when they're typing. Uh, this is typing right here. You need a pantomime typing, because a lot of people don't understand typing. They think it's like... They, like, they say typing, and then they see in their minds, you like slamming your face against the keyboard, so I type with my fingers. That's why I illustrated that, because I'm Marcel Marceau's uh, protege. So there you go. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What is the most funny experience you and your dog have had together? Um, funny experience with my doggy. Uh, I don't know. Um, can't think of anything funny. Um, sorry. Do you like the band Nirvana? Sure, they're all right. Um, not a huge fan. Kurt Cobain does share the same birthday as me, February twentieth. Um, but otherwise, not really. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't I don't dislike them. I don't really like them either. I mean, I, I have um, all their CDs burned to my hard drive, actually, but I don't really listen too often, and i um, never been a huge fan. Try to get at them, because I really... I like Kurt more than I like the band. I'll put it that way. How do you keep your figure? Coke, uh, donuts, and candy. That's how I keep my figure. Oh, and cookies. Don't forget cookies. And fast food. Are you an anarchist? Why or why not? Um, I was reading the Encyclopedia Dramatica article about me because someone was talking about it, and I'd been there before, but I actually hadn't been there in a while. And I saw on there that it said that I hate anarchists. And I don't hate anarchists. I've said before, um, I'd be an anarchist in a minute, in a fucking heartbeat, because I hate the government. I fucking loathe them, okay? I would be an anarchist in a minute if someone could explain to me how certain things would work in an anarchist system convincingly, because I have i don't understand how we could have a private police force. I don't understand how we could have private roads, because they'd all be toll roads and no one wants to pay a fucking toll every time they go for a drive. This isn't New Jersey. Um, I don't understand the privatizing education thing, although it does make some sense to me, but I don't understand how we would keep there from being huge discrepancies from place to place, and yes, I know we don't even have that with the government, but I think we have at least some semblance of it. I think if you privatize all schools, who's going to build schools in the fucking ghetto? That's my question. Who, who Are these kids just totally fucked if we privatize the schools? I would think they would be. Um, who's going to take care of people with disabilities? Uh, and, and, and handicapped people, who's gonna who's gonna make sure that these people are taken care of? This is really basic shit, and uh, if he, and, and, and uh, anarchists don't have an answer for it. So, when they do, I'll gladly be a fucking anarchist. But until that time, you know, I'm not gonna do it. And um, you know, Ayn Rand was uh, a very intelligent woman. But when it comes to how we can run a system, she was a fucking imbecile, and not too good of a, not too great as a writer either. Very wooden prose. Um, but I hear a lot. I know there's a lot of people on here who, who are just in love with Ayn Rand, but you know she she didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. Sorry. Um, it sounds very reasonable when you read it, and it gives you kind of a individualist direction, but at the end of the day, when you actually think about how the logistics of it would work, it leaves way too many fucking people behind. It just doesn't work. Um, so until someone can explain to me how we can totally get rid of the government, I remain a libertarian who advocates the smallest government possible. And if the smallest possible government is no government at all, then that's what we'll fucking have. Then I'm an anarchist. So, anyway... 
I never got to my good question. Hopefully there's something better coming up. A lot of you asked really dumb fucking questions. But some of you asked good ones too. And um, I'll do more of these tomorrow.